Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at an early preview of the upcoming Windows 10X operating system. If you're not familiar, Windows 10X is a new lightweight variant of Windows 10 originally planned for dual screen and foldable devices. However, it's been reworked for single screen devices, at least initially. Also, this is not a new version that you will be able to download and upgrade your computer. Instead, it is another expression that's why the X on 10 for new laptops and other devices to compete with Chrome OS. This nearly final version of Windows 10X reveals a completely redesigned operating system that looks simple, more visually appealing, and focused on web apps instead of traditional desktop applications. Okay, let's dive into the new experience. If you're setting up the device for the first time, you will see a new redesigned out-of-box experience with a Y window with rounded corners instead of the stretch full screen interface with a blue background that we're used to on the regular version of Windows 10. However, same as before, throughout this process, you will be able to choose your preferences, create an account, and choose your privacy settings, enable Cortana, and more. And as you can see, as we move between the pages, we have a new animation related to data specific settings that we're about to configure. And now I'm just going to set up an account for this demo. One thing you have to note about Windows 10 X compared to Windows 10 is that you can only create an account using a Microsoft account. You can create a local account. All the steps are the same as with the regular version of Windows 10. One thing I noticed that unlike Windows 10, when you create a pen, it has to be at least six character long compared to the uh, four pen digit that you can use on Windows 10. And here you can select your privacy settings, just like on the regular version of Windows 10. For this video, I'm just going to set them all and continue with the setup. Once in the desktop, you will quickly notice a very minimalistic experience and you will see that Microsoft is trying to go for an experience designed for web apps rather than traditional applications. Unlike the desktop version of Windows 10, the new operating system has a new taskbar that places all the apps in a start button front and center, as you can see right here, and with a simpler notification area without too many icons. Perhaps one of the most interesting visual aspects of Windows 10X is the new start menu. The new start menu has a new design with a search box at the top where you can search for apps, settings, and web terms. Then there is the list of the most recent apps, which now are icons instead of light tiles. If you want, you can always click and drag the application to rearrange, and you can click the show all button to see all the applications available on the system. And at the bottom of the menu, you will find your most recent applications. It is a simple and straightforward design, but it's totally different to what we used to see on Windows 10. As part of the uh, new experience, we're also getting new animations, for example, for minimizing and closing applications. And as I minimize it, you, you saw there was a new jump that indicated that we're minimizing. And if we hover over, we'll also see a new animation to show thumbnails. And when we close an application, we should also see a new animation that indicates that we're closing the application. We're also getting a new start button. Although it has the same shape as before, when we click it, now we get new colors and a new animation. Similar animation, it can also be found on the task view button. which has also been simplified and there is no timelines or an option to use virtual desktop. Another thing I wanted to point out is that on this version, you cannot move icons to, to the desktop. 
there is no way to place anything on the desktop, not even files or folders. However, you can right click the desktop and that will open the context menu that only includes one option compared to Windows 10, which is the options to change your background image. On Windows 10X, we're also getting a redesign action center, which now is just a flyout with a new design language that integrates the power options and the profile menu and access to settings. And you can also see the battery status. Of course, this is an addition to the quick settings that are available on Windows 10. But as you can see, now we have a new experience that is similar to the previous version, but now it's more optimized for touch. If you want to edit the uh, quick settings, just like on Windows 10, you just right click and select the option. And that's how we remove the buttons. If we want to add more buttons, we click the add button and we choose the option that we want in quick settings. Once you complete it, customizing the experience, click the Done button. As part of the Action Center experience, we will still get the notification area, which now it's part of the Action Center, but it's separated from, from Quick Settings. So you can view your notifications, you can clear them all, or dismiss it one by one. And if no notifications are available, as you can see, we only get the flyout with just the quick settings. You also notice rounded corners for the flyouts and buttons on, on Action Center, but this is throughout the experience, which is very different from the design language that we used to see in the desktop version of Windows 10. But we're now starting to see also that Microsoft is pushing this design language to the desktop version of Windows 10. So since Windows 10X is moving some of the settings available on the start menu, such as access to settings and power options and the profile menu. In order to restart or shut down your computer, you will have to use the Action Center experience. So if you want to shut down the computer, you will open Action Center and then click the power button, which that will bring up this page where you can choose to shut down, restart, or to cancel the action. There is a profile menu, but that just brings us to this page where you can lock the device instead of shutting it down. And you also see the transition, which is also new to Windows 10X. Another interesting aspect of Windows 10X is that when launching an application, it appears that you're limited to running them only in full screen mode. Since the maximize button is no longer available, we only get the close or minimize buttons and there is no way to resize the window. However, you can still grab the app and snap it to the side to run two applications side by side. At least initially, the operating system will only run web applications and those from the Microsoft Store, which means that you won't be able to install traditional desktop apps, including Office applications. You can download executables, but the installation won't launch. So you won't be able to use Chrome or Firefox in this operating system unless these companies build their web browsers to target this operating system. Since you can install desktop applications, you will be adding plenty of web applications. And usually you will be able to do that using Microsoft Edge. For example, if you wanted to install the web version of Microsoft Word, you will open the web application on, on Microsoft Edge, and then you will see a button to install that application on the computer. And as you can see, now we're running the web application on the desktop of Windows 10X. Also, since there is no support for legacy applications, many of the system applications have been removed, including Notepad, Command Prompt, Control Panel, and tools like Task Manager, and more. Then there is a new File Explorer, which has been designed primarily to access OneDrive content and is 
pretty basic. You can still access local files, but you're only limited to access the downloads folder. And you cannot access the system files. This modern version of the file manager for Windows 10 includes a settings page, but there are no customization options at this time. Also, since this is a new modern application, the Save As dialog follows the same design. And as you can see, it's totally different to what we see on Windows 10. Although this file manager is very basic and just gives you access to on to your files that you have on OneDrive, you can still connect USB, flash drive, and external hard drive. On Windows 10X, the settings setup remains the same as the interface that we see today on Windows 10, but it is a more simplified version that doesn't have many of the features that we see on the desktop version of the operating system, and it's tweaked differently. For instance, like if we go to the network and internet page you will see basic settings to manage network adapters but there is not options to configure proxy or a dial-up connection also if we go to the personalizations page we only get a fraction of the settings that we see on the full version of Windows 10. Since the legacy components are no longer available on this version of Windows, there is no options to access settings through control panel within the settings app. Now I'm just going to navigate quickly through the pages so you can get a glimpse of the full experience of the settings app, but I'm not going to go through the system section because on my installation, the app freezes and I have to restart the device to start over. So I'm just going to start with devices. One thing I noticed on the apps and features page is that at the bottom of the page, you will get options to clear the default apps for file types and links rather than a separate page to set your default applications. Also on this page, we also get the archive apps feature, which is not exactly new to Windows 10 X. It is actually a feature that has been already introduced on Windows 10. The feature is meant to archive apps you don't use to save space and internet data. And the next time you try to open the app, it will reconnect to the internet and download the full version of the app again. Of course, the app have to be available in order to be downloaded again on, on your device. And it appears that that is a feature that comes enabled by default on Windows 10X.
Another interesting feature that you will find on Windows 10X is the anti-theft protection, which prevents someone from resetting the device and reusing it. When this feature is turned on, you will need to enter a PIN or a Microsoft account password before resetting and being able to reuse the device. And you can even manage these settings through your Microsoft account. But it seems that it's not working at this time. And that was a quick look at all the pages available on the settings app for Windows 10X. Another thing I noticed on this new variant of Windows 10 is that we don't get a lock screen. And when you restart the computer or start the computer or lock the device, you will see the sign in screen immediately with an option to sign in onto your account. And we also get the action center right at the bottom. Also, when shutting down the device, we get a new animation. Although this is a nearly final release, there is a lot that needs fixing and to be improved. For example, the settings app crashes constantly, at least in my experience. Some part of the interface is still inconsistent and there is not a modern task manager, so you can't check anything about the system or force to close an application. And I'm not going to talk about performance because this is not the final release and this is a virtual machine. While Windows 10X is marketed as a new variant of Windows 10, as we saw today, a lot of things changed and it doesn't feel much like Windows anymore. This new version is simple, it's more visually appealing, and it feels more like a window to the web rather than a system to use desktop applications, which makes it clear that Microsoft is trying to go after the Chrome OS market and low-end devices. It is not clear exactly when this version will be available and what devices initially will include this new variant, but it's expected that Windows 10X will be available in the coming months. And that was an early look at the features and changes expected to arrive with Windows 10X. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.